Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can use free Flux AI generative model inside Kriya.ai as well as another AI tool, which is called Piclumen. Now Kriya as well as Piclumen have Flux AI generative model built in and you can expect images from Kriya that will look like this. And from Piclumen will look like this. In this video, I will try my best to create as nicer looking images with both of the tools. And at the end of the video, I'm going to compare both of them. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now let's try the first tool, which is Kriya.ai. As I mentioned in the intro of this video, both of the tools are completely free to use and make sure that you also create an account for it. The simplest way is to use Google account and just sign in. And once you are on this page, you guys can just simply go here to generate images, which has this huge flux sign on it. And I will also put this link and the link for Piclumen tool as well in the video description right below the like button. And you guys can just pause this video and go to the video description and click on the link and go to Kriya as well as pick Lumen. Now, once you are on Kriya.ai, you can simply here click on generate images. And here, for example, you guys can see some of my previous generations. And as I mentioned before, this is completely free tool to use. But the caveat is that you guys can see here that you have only about three minutes to use this tool. So if you have a free account of Kriya.ai, you have three minutes of usage for this tool. Now let's go here down below where you have this input field and here you will find two of the buttons. The first one is random prompt. So if you don't have anything on your mind or you don't have any ideas, you can simply click on this button and you will see here that you have this random prompt and then here you have the settings. Now if you click on this, you will see that you have here aspect ratio options. Now if you are creating content, for example, for YouTube, then I highly recommend to you guys that you use 16 by 9 aspect ratio or if you are creating for let's say TikTok then you use 9 by 16. In this case I will go with 16 by 9 and here at the bottom you will also see this add style option. So if you click on this you can pretty much here select whatever style you prefer. I won't go with any of the styles because I think it would be a fair comparison to the other tool and uh, right now I'll just click on X here. By the way you can also add multiple styles for example if you click on this one you can also add this one let's say and this one as well and here down below you can also increase or decrease intensity of the style by just moving up and down your mouse it's that easy here on the right you can also add your own style or you can also add a random style if you want to but here on the right are basically the same settings as they are here on the bottom now i'm going to click on generate and let's see what will Korea.ai come up with and meanwhile this is doing its thing make sure that you you comment down below which tool will actually have better images korea.ai or peak lumen let me know in the comment section down below before we get to compare them and right now i also think it's the right thing to do to smash up the like button and subscribe to this channel if you guys are enjoying this kind of content of course and here on the korea tool you can also see here at the bottom left this progress bar of generations so yeah i think this is really cool to see some kind of a progress bar of how long these generations will actually take. So here we have first four images from Korea.ai using Flux AI image generator. All of four of them I think look okay, but the most one which I think looks the best is this third one which has some of the greenery as well as this big city and the factories in the background. Now resolution I don't think is that high of a quality, However, we can also go here to let's say image you like and you can click on variation of this image. And now what Kriya will do, it will take this image, so which you like, and it will create some of other examples of the similar image. And now here we have another four examples of the previous first variation of the image. And I think that four images look even better compared to the four images created before. 
before. Now let's take a look at this first image. Now here you can see that we already have this higher resolution of the image. More of the details are present in the actual image as well. And here we have this huge boat, or we could say a massive ship here in the harbor. And here we have this massive factories here and also the city in the background. So this image looks good nonetheless. If you want, you can also enhance any type of image you want with Crea.ai, which is actually a bonus. Now, if you click on the image, you can simply download it as it is. And then on Crea, you will navigate here to the Enhance tab. Now you can click on plus here and add the image which we got from Crea, which is this one right here. And you can also see how many of the megabytes it actually takes. In this case, it's 1.6 megabytes. Here, I'll just click on open. And now here on the right, you will see upscaling options. You can go from 1x to 8x. But I believe with the free version of Crea, you are only able to actually upscale the image with 2x. And here down below, you also have upscaling factors. So here you can see that Crea actually understands the prompt which was used for this image. Then you guys can also increase or decrease the strength value, resemblance value, clarity value, and even add your own presets. So if you click on this, you have here a ton of the presets if you want to use them, but I will just go with default for this enhancement. And now I will click here on enhance and let's see what will Korea.ai come up with with this enhancer feature. And now here we have the before and after. So this is the before. So this is the image created with Korea.ai Flux AI model. And this is right now the enhanced image. It has much, much more detail. And here we can also see some really nice shadows as well as the really nice contrast going on on this image. So before and after is actually a massive difference. So I highly recommend to you guys that you use also the enhanced feature on Korea as well. And now I think this is pretty much it for Korea.ai tool. Now we can move on and compare it to the Peak Lumen, which also has Flux AI generative model built in. Now I will also put this link in the video description so you guys can just pause this video and go to this website. And once you are here, you can just click on launch application. Of course, you will have to have an account for this website. And as I said before, the easiest way to create an account for it is to use just Google account. Now here on this website, you can see here the first page. So here you will find pretty much a ton of the images generated from other people. And here on top, I will go with create option. And on the top, you will find the first option. So here you can see pretty much a lot of different models to use. Right now I'll use Flux One Schnell model. So this is basically the same model which is used in Korea.ai as well. Now here on the right, we have aspect ratio. I will go with 16 by nine. And here on the right, we have how many of the images this generator will actually create. I will go with four. Now here you have input field and here you also have auto translate option as well as prompt enhance. I will go here to Korea.ai. So on Korea, I will go here under the generate and I'll copy the same prompt which we used on Korea.ai and I will copy it to the Peak Lumen AI image generator. So here I will just paste the same prompt inside and here I won't use the feature called prompt enhance. So this will make prompt much, much more longer. And here what I will do, I will leave everything as it is. And here I'll click on generate and let's see what will Peak Lumen actually come up with. Now, I believe that Peak Lumen does not have enhanced feature. So we'll find out that later in the video. So as you can see here on peaklumen.com, the one drawback which I see compared to the Crea.ai that it doesn't have the actual progress bar of image generation. So here you can see simply here four images generating and you cannot see anything how it's doing its thing. So here we just got an, a message generations completed and here we have first four of the images. Now straight off the bat, I think that this four images have kind of different interpretations interpretation of the same prompt. So here we have this more like steampunk style of the actual image. And the one which I think looks the best
class is this one maybe this one has this huge ship in the background as well as many others and everything looks kind of okay now let's see if peak lumen has enhanced feature similar to the crea.ai so here on the right, you will see basically the resolution. You will also see which model was used for this image. And here you can download this image. You can also remix, which is similar to the Korea.ai. Then we have remove background option as well as colorize option. So I'll click on remix and let's see what will Big Lumen actually come up with for this remix feature. So here we have remixed images. I think that this time the remixed images also look better compared to the generated before with peaklumen.com. It was the same thing for the crea.ai. So I think that in those in this aspect, the both softwares are neck to neck. However, compared to the images, I think that the images coming out from korea.ai and using their flux ai image interpretation look better so for example this is the one from pick lumen and if we go here to korea.ai this is the one we, which i think looks the best from korea.ai so this is the image from korea and this is basically from pick lumen both of them have also different interpretations of this same prompt so if you like the style from pick lumen i guess you should use this tool and if you like the style from korea then i think korea is also good option to choose however korea also has some other features like enhancer and you can also make a video on their website ai video which i think it's also very cool so nonetheless both of the tools are very nice to use and at the end of the day it comes to your preference which image you like the most so with that said, I think this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got the value from this video, then make sure that you smash up the like button. Subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.